this is a face of a guy who regrets getting caught doing something that many men have done, continue to do, and probably will continue to do in the future. That woman over there in the back, I assume is his wife or slash girlfriend, and she looks extremely devastated. What did this man do? A lot of you guys already know. This guy's a popular Twitch streamer. He has a lot of followers, and one day he was streaming on Twitch while he was live, and he took a break and closed the tab on one of his... Uh, one of his tabs got closed and it showed and revealed one of his other tabs, which showed deep fake pornography of other Twitch streamers that he considered to be friends with. And it blew up. The people took the screenshots. They shared it everywhere. His wife found out the Twitch streamers that he was actually making deep fakes of. They found out too, and we're going to get to their reactions as well. But I'm going to keep it 100% buck here, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think right after this. What's up? This is Method Man right here. Yes, I have a mask on because I care. Welcome to Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy, Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Consider subscribing to the channel for everything real, 100% real commentary, keeping it a buck on all things pop culture. This guy is the guy that I showed you. He's the Twitch streamer. He got in trouble. Everybody came for him after they found out. I'm like, dude, you're watching deep fakes of popular Twitch streamers who are also your friends and girlfriends of your friends secretly. So it's basically like, say I have a friend, right? <clears throat> say my homeboy has a girlfriend who's a popular Twitch streamer. And then he and then I get caught watching deep fakes of his girlfriend on other porn stars body and beaten off to it. That's basically what this man is guilty of. And is this is the apology video. Let's take a little reaction to it. Uh, obviously, you know, there's people from the OSF that are going to make a bunch of jokes and things. Um, I'm definitely going to address everything today. But, you know, if you, if you say something way over the line, uh, ask the mods to stop it. But I, I, I'm not like trying to hide anything. I don't know if you could keep it just semi civil. That would help. Thank you. His wife back there is just completely upset and embarrassed. You just give it like five minutes, I'll talk about it. He's crying. Do we think that he's crying in shame or because he's getting embarrassed? I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to get hearts or anything. I really, I, I'm going to talk about it in five minutes. I just don't want too many crazy comments. Sorry, sorry. It's hard for men to deal with emotion like this. It's easy for me. I cry like a beach all the time. You can tell this is really hard for him. Let's fast forward. That's 12 minutes. Hold on. I think we can start. Yeah, let's start. It's uh, It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. It's disgusting. It's fucking. It's. It's wrong. Um, sorry, I, I didn't sleep all night. I got. I, so I'm, um, I guess what I want to say is, uh, so I, I, I already feel deeply. I'm deeply fucking embarrassed about this. I'm, I'm deeply fucking. I'm embarrassed. I'm angry at myself. Uh, I, I feel fucking, I just feel so fucking stupid. Uh, but I, I, I before I go into the apology, because I think it feels weird if you use a butt later, I, I just want to say a couple facts early. I just want, I want to get them out of the way because it was only because I, I was torturing myself reading fucking LSF comments that made me feel sick to my stomach and they're, they're way too far. They took it way, way too far. So I, when, when Ari was, uh, out of town, so. 
Um, and again, there's no excuse for it. I'm not. I'm she not was out of town. Huh? I think this whole fucking category of stuff is wrong. A hundred percent. But I'm just. I want people to know that. You know, because the thing that I think that hurt me the most is like. Uh, I've done a lot on the stream to like create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch to feel safer. Like I, I we call fucking booba spam cringe. We don't do that there. I've never made like a fucking weird, I don't know, seat sniffing joke. I've never done anything like that. I've never done anything like that on the stream. And we don't tolerate any sex behavior in the chat. We, we ban it on site. And, uh, and like I've done this consistently over and over and over, and then fucking at 2 a.m., you know I've been I've been watching so much fucking I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff, I'm reading all this fucking stuff about AI and, and uh, AI, uh, okay, fucking defake music, defake art, and everything, and I'm in these fucking discords, uh -huh. and I was, uh, it feels so embarrassing to admit, but I was on fucking Pornhub, dude, I was on a fucking regular ass normal fucking website, and there was an ad. There's an ad on every fucking video for this fucking... So I know other people must be clicking it, but it's on every fucking video. <laughs> oh, for fucking defect thing. And then I click it, and I'm fucking in this... I'm sorry. Sitting here watching a man cry and make this big thing up about watching porn lets me know and let just how PC this guy is. Like, I don't want to live like this, even on my YouTube channel. I don't want to be so PC that... I'm embarrassed to even mention Pornhub. You know what I'm saying? Pretending like this guy don't beat his meat multiple times a week. That the normal guy doesn't do it. It's wrong. You shouldn't masturbate and all that stuff. You need to deviate away from that. Absolutely. But come on, man. Fucking rabbit hole. And at 2 a.m. I fucking... I, I don't know. I got morbidly curious and I clicked something. And I, and I it's just fucking... It's, it's gross. It's gross, and I'm sorry. I really am. I really fucking am. It's not... I don't know. It's, it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. But I just really want to get across. It's not like a fucking pattern of behavior. And, I, you know... I it's not a... I don't, I don't know what I want to say or not say. Uh, I just hate doing this on stream, man. This is not what my stream's about at all. I hate this drama stuff, and I, but I just feel bad. I don't, and I saw some comments... For people that are in my community. So, it's not a pattern of behavior. Like, you don't beat off. You don't go on porn sites. Cap! Why is we capping out here, bro? Is that... Is, he has to cap to this... P oh, my goodness. Twitch is a platform that is all about sex. This is such bullshit to me. Like, first of all, let, let, me, let me go ahead and... I think it's important that I, before I give my opinion on the situation, I need to get the reactions, show you guys the reactions to the women who actually were involved in these videos, right? Where the, who the deep fakes were about. I genuinely, I am like, don't even want to look at my phone. I'm sure everybody would. So she's devastated. This is QT something. I don't know. None, I don't know. None of these Twitchers. I'm not into that shit, but. Shout out to Swag Kage for sending it to me. This chick right here uh, was like a face on a deep fake. Deep fake is they'll take her face and they'll plaster it on like a porn star's body and then they'll do sex scenes or do lulax to get guys to go off and pretend like, oh my God, that's really her. That's the streamer QT and they, and they get off to it, right? Weird. I'm not even into deep fakes because that shit is, I'm, I don't like fake over made up porn. I like homemade, raw graphic shooting with a cell phone. In an alley somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I like the homemade uh, am amateur stuff. But, you know, people are into that stuff and they watch that. Not my cup of tea personally because it just looks weird. But this woman, she has every right to feel violated, to feel emotionally distraught, to be crying and to be sad right now and scared. Because from her point of view, her face was put on a body and sexualized by a lot of people. And I could get how that's jarring. So I'm with her, and I'm with the Pokimane on that. Later on Pokimane, though. <laughs> I wanted to go live. Because I want to go live because this is what pain looks like. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like, okay? This is what it looks like. 
Fuck the fucking internet. Fuck the constant exploitation and objectification of women. It's exhausting. A lot of the women on the internet objectify themselves. I don't know this girl, QT. She has a hoodie on. I don't know how she dresses for her streams. but And I'm not going to assume that she's one of them. But a lot of female Twitch streamers put their titties out and dress sexually. And they flirt with these nerdy, incel, beta male men who will never get a box in their life without a freaking Amazon smile on it. And they bait them and use them to donate to them, trick them for their money, and it's a disgusting practice on freaking Twitch, bro. And a lot of female Twitch streamers are guilty of this. I don't know about her, though. It's exhausting. Fuck Atrioc for showing it to thousands of people. Fuck the people DMing me pictures of myself from that, from that website. Mm. Fuck you all. This is what it looks like. This is what the pain looks like. Okay. Now she's definitely. No, I feel her. Why? <sighs> why? Does she really want to know why? All right, freaking, I'll play a game. The reason why is that you're beautiful and you spend hours on Twitch talking to them and making them feel good. They love you. They want to see you naked. That's why. If you are able to look at women who are not selling themselves or benefiting off of being seen sexually oh they're not benefiting they're not selling it they're okay. not platforming it themselves if you are able to look at that you are the problem all right well let's let's say she said she's not one of those streamers who sexualize herself wear skimpy clothing and stuff like that to, to try to snare uh uh um, incels into paying for her so i'm gonna give her benefit of the doubt you know i'm glad that she's not now now knowing that I feel even worse for her. Like, God dang, that's that's tough. I feel her pain. She has every right to feel this way. And if I was her father, I'd be ready to knock somebody out. Starting with that atriac piece of shit, right? That's how I would feel if I was her father. All right, so now let's move on to somebody else. There's another Twitch streamer on uh there's another Twitch streamer on the internet. Her name is Pokimane, and she was definitely People then deep fake her to death. She got a real pretty face when she wears all the makeup and the glorification and shit like that. And she, this this one here, she definitely sells sex. She's definitely makes provocative. The tight clothes, tight uh, leggings that show the pussy cleavage. The, the, the little cleavage on the titties. And the, this picture, look at this. This is a 100% baiting anime girl. You want to F me, don't you? Pose, right? Got you. She 100% benefits from sexualizing herself, using her attractiveness, and she understands 100% that 90% of her fan base are males, pimply, who can't get love, who are probably in love with her, who watch her to pay her and will donate thousands and millions of dollars that she gets from a certain type of demographic of person. Now, I ask you, is that right? I'm asking all of you. Is it right to use your sexuality, your Im your image, to profit off of the weakness of an audience? If I'm, isn't it the same as you know somebody who's sexy and buff and does martial arts and stuff to get on camera and flex his muscles and all that and talk about how he is this and in order to catfish a lot of single mothers like in their 40s who are desperate for a man, right? If he chooses to just target the demographic of single older women and use his sexuality to try to bait them in their weakness and in their insecurities into re receiving monetary gain for it. I see it as the same exact thing. Our society is so trash and social media has helped ruin it. And these are social media people, right? But social media has helped ruin it so bad that the incel community has risen to levels beyond that of a super saiyan. And it's sad 
We got school shootings because of it. I honestly believe that the last school shootings that we've had, the last four school shootings we've had, wouldn't have happened if they was getting pussy. And here, if they had a girlfriend, if they had a friend who was a girl who paid attention to them and hung out with them, all these shootings wouldn't have if they had a girlfriend. And they rage out because they don't feel like nobody loves them. They they do the, these crazy things. They definitely pay for attention from women that look like this. And I believe that there is a level of responsibility from somebody who, who like Pokimane, who gets monetary benefit in the millions off of the insecurity of men. Don't confuse my words with, I don't agree with what she's doing. I am perfectly okay with Pokimane monetizing incels because if you want to freaking give her your money, that's on you. If you want to be a sucker and a digital John, that's on you. My problem is the platform of Twitch too. How are you going to let some stuff like this exist on the platform and you promote, you put women, you allow women in hot tubs and bikinis gagging on toys to be on your platform, but we can't say beta, we can't say incel, we can't say simp, you ban those words. Twitch makes so much money off of the incel that they've made trigger words to protect the incel so they can pay people like Pokimane. It's a corrupt, terrible system. And it's unfair to other Twitch streamers who are just trying to play video games. A lot of these female Twitch streamers ain't even good at the video games they play. But they can, oh, oh thank you, nice guy. Oh, thank you. And get the freaking... And they'd be like, oh, the guy's in the video. Oh my gosh, she just blew a kiss at me. Oh my God, here's a hundred more dollars, baby. I love you. And it just over and over and over. It's not even about the stream. It's not about gaming and shit. That's what Twitch was supposed to be about. Because you got millions of, of thousands of new creators who actually are good at games, want to be, want to grow their channel and are all about sharing the platform with the community and growing a gaming community where the games lead the way. And they get shunned to the side because they're not edgy. They're not getting the views. They're not sexy. They're not provocative. I think the whole system is bullshit. So let's get back to this guy, Atrioc. That we're, uh, that we're talking and they, they felt so let down. He has a very, uh, he has a, he, what we do when we go to porn is we want to see the, the most beautiful of beautiful, sexy of sexy women. And that's the, the allure, right? But this motherfucker is looking at people who he considered friends, right? You're looking at your friends secretly and you want to see them naked. Uh, there's, that's natural. It's a natural thing to want to see somebody who you deem sexy and go with it. That's why a lot of the times, uh, ex-girlfriends get with the boyfriend of their home girl and all that stuff. It's because they've always were attracted to them. It's just the fact that they were the friend, the boyfriend or girlfriend of their friend that they held back. But once they break up, they, you, you know, they mess around and shit. It's because we are human just because this guy Atrioc is friends with like QT and Pokimane here doesn't mean that this fool Atrioc doesn't want to smash him because he sees them as beautiful. We understand, oh, Atrioc has a girlfriend. Atrioc can't press that, go past that friend boundary. So he keeps it. Where do we keep our filth, right? Where do men keep our natural urge of filth? We keep it up here. Keep it to ourselves. Late at night, rub one out, and he's going to look at some deep fake. And he's getting canceled, I guess, for it. Or that's the PC shit. That shit is weird to me, bro. Uh, you don't want to look at my freaking uh porn history, bro. Shit is filthy. But he's getting canceled. He's getting off in the way because he wants to watch some deep fake porn. And he's sitting there crying about it, like, because he's embarrassed about it. Like, bro. What type of Twitch channel do you have? It's, it's so PC where you can't even mention that you watch Pornhub. And when you do mention it and you this situation where you, you actually looked at deepfake of like Pokimane, you're being canceled for it when all 
the people. It's weird to me. Pokimane. I don't know, I'm not going to add QT into it because she says she don't sexualize and all that. So I'm going I'm to give her, I believe her. But Pokemon, I want to know how you feel about this situation. Are you crying and are you upset at QT? I really want to know because the question that I would have is, if you're mad at this dude, Atrioc, for getting off to your freaking deep fake, and he's a streamer who makes probably hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars a year who has a wife girlfriend who gets box i wonder how you feel about the millions of subscribers who give you money and watch you who go even further and also watch your deep fakes and they get off to it they probably got blow up dolls with your face on it and they come on the mask that's how sick they are how would you feel about that? Because I tell you, Pokimane and the rest of you Twitch streamers out there who are women, that's exactly what your community is doing. You just don't know it. If you could see that he could do it, you best believe Billy in Omaha, Nebraska is absolutely rubbing one out upstairs in the attic while his mom is down there making biscuits. That's for sure. So how do you really feel about it? Because if you're really against it, Tell half of your subscribers to just go away. Tell every single last one of those motherfuckers, if you find me attractive and you do deep fake and you watch me, don't subscribe to me. I want you to leave now. They probably won't leave because they don't give a shit. They, they get what they want. But if they actually did, you would lose your fan base. If you really said, you sick weirdos on my Twitch, if you're watching my deep fakes and you're objectifying me sexually and you don't care about my gaming skills, you're, if you're not here for my gaming skills and you're for something else, if you're for anything else other than my gaming skills, I need you to leave my Twitch. Watch you have three subscribers. <laughs> you have three followers left and they're going to be women. Let's stop the cap out here, bro. This is a non-issue. The only issue that I see here is from women like this. This is the issue. Women who are don't objectify themselves sexually. Women who are just trying to twitch and have fun and build a community and then they got to see themselves on deep fake shit. This makes me sad. I feel bad for her. But I don't feel bad for all of them. If you sexual, and this is to, to the Twitch streamers, if you sexualize yourself in any way on your channel and you have lots of followers, you need to understand why you got those followers. It's a huge problem on Twitch. It's a huge problem on the internet, period, even on YouTube, but it's really big on Twitch. We need to understand, how many times on YouTube do we see a brand new channel come out, but she's a baddie, she look good as shit, and she's doing Marvel and Star Wars discussions. Oh my God, but she's kind of cute, and a gang of incels subscribe to her channel. There's chicks that come, make a channel, and in a year, get 100,000 subscribers, and they don't know shit about what they talking about, but God dang it, they're good to look at. This is the community, the incel on freaking social media. You got to live with it. You got to live with the praises. You get the subscribers. You get the money. You got to live what comes with getting the incel. You're going to get some pervy, weird motherfuckers who might want to deep fake your shit. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing. Here's some sponsorship tears. Mm -hmm.